Hi. So as you can see on this slide here, that prisoners clearly are not giving proper tools to get released back into the communities that they came from. A lot of the prisoners at times do receive disciplinary infractions. So what this is that they, you know, something happens, they receive a ticket, which is a disciplinary infraction, depending on what it is and depend on the tier levels, it's one to three. Three being the highest and worst, one being a minimal thing. Um, when this happens, though, it can impact their parole board. And if they're, a, if they're up for parole hearing, at times, you know, it can impact them to actually not leave. Um, this then causes a lot of stress for the, the prisoners. And, um, you know, a whole bunch of under, other things can happen after this. Um, it can cost, as you can see here, between $22,000 and $40,000 a year per each prisoner. That is a lot of money that's being spent for somebody to be kept in prison at this time. A lot of the times there's no housing right now for these prisoners to go to, so they're technically free, they're past their release date, and this is the issue that is, is at hand right now, which is a huge issue. It's immoral and it's unethical. And then it costs an additional $6,000 if the individual has any mental, physical, or emotional health needs. Um, the transition from prison to community is a crucial one. There are economic obstacles, and I completely understand that. And, you know, that get in the way of the offender um, going back into the communities. And offenders can at time be deterred away from assistance because of the obstacles and the constraints that are put on them, this then, you know, increasing that we see a lot of the times of recidivism, you know, the the rates are so high right now. And guys that I've even talked to have been in prison, not one time, not two, but three or four times because of this.